All right, welcome back, West Coast. We're talking crazy Canadian rock and roll right now, but uh, we're talking to, um, well, an interesting figure out here on the coast. If you've ever heard of the Leonard Lighthouse, it is uh, one of few manned lighthouses in Canada anymore after, uh, well, governments uh, decide to seem to think we person, don't Jeff, need them. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but uh, so uh, you're one of those people that has, we were just talking about how kind of interesting my job can be and, and rare and special. Uh, you've got a pretty interesting rare and special job. What's life, life like out on Leonard Lighthouse? There is no such thing as a bad day. Yeah. And if the weather's really crazy, well, it's our job to report it, right? Yeah. And we do it every, you know, get, my husband here gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning and starts the early shift, yeah. and the weather goes out th every three hours, and if it gets really gnarly and starts, you know, there's a big yeah. wind shift or uh, suddenly things ramp up, uh, we report in specials yeah. or any pilots going by that want to know which way the wind is blowing, you know, call yeah. in and... Uh, yeah. And then on a day like this, you just oh. take off to the mainland, well, mainland, uh, to, yeah. the, to the bigger island. The big and smoke. <laughs> the big smoke. Yeah. Hit the post office. Go to the co-op. It's great. Yeah. Sweet. And, uh, I'm, I'm really, I mean, the weather, uh, we, we've been talking all this morning about how amazing the weather is, but it's especially amazing because it made it possible for you guys to sneak across yes. uh, because of the small seas and share with us here on the hospice we, radio. -thon. Yeah. I was really hoping I could do this. Um, I think hospice is great. We all have a connection to hospice in some way. And, uh, so I really wanted to do this, but you know what it's like, December, mm -hmm. and on Tuesday, we get sent up to Cape Scott Lighthouse yeah. for three weeks to do relief up there. And um, so this is it. This is our last So can chance. I relieve you guys while you're in Cape Scott? Well, it might be difficult because apparently we've got internet, but no phone up there. We just have radio phone. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, because I was just thinking I could I can just sit at your lighthouse and like drink scotch for a couple of weeks while you guys are doing whatever it is you do, <laughs> yeah. and then then it's covered, you know, just in you, case the place blows down I or know, whatever. I know you'd be put to work. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I don't know if I want <laughs> fixing that. roofs that get blown off. So while you're out there, <laughs> while you're out there at the lighthouse, you got a lot of stuff to take care of, but you find time to do some writing as well. Yes, and and um, you know when I'm on uh, usually late shift, um, that usually ends uh, at uh, standard time at uh, nine thirty to you know. Or so in the evening but um, in the summer I the last weather reports at 10 30 so there's hours of darkness where you know you've got your radio on to listen for channel 16 yeah. but other than that you know you can hole up and write yeah. and some November days especially when there is it's just howling like that stretch yeah. we just had you know it got up to 125 kilometers yeah. out there it peaked and um, so you can't do anything but batten down the hatches make a good stew and write it's mm -hmm. wonderful I count my blessings every day. Well, thanks for coming in to share during the Radiothon. What's the uh, the book in question you're going to read for us? The book I'd like to read today is Singing Away the Dark. And it is um, about finding courage and dealing with fear through your imagination. And I think it's kind of good for all ages. Mm -hmm. But it's especially good for little tykes uh, going into kindergarten, right into grade two, I'd say, would be the ideal age for the pictures and everything. And... Um, so, do you want me to just launch into yeah, it, Yeah, fire away, sure. Okay. This very autobiographical, too. I grew up in the piece. When I was six and went to school, I walked a long, long way. I leave my house so nice and warm on a windy winter's day. I walk alone down our long hill, then home is out of sight. I take a breath and stand up tall and grip my lunch pail tight. I must be brave, I tell myself. The school bus will not wait. I squeeze between the wires. I have no time for gates. I don't allow myself to stop, to look between the trees, to peer at shapes that shift and hide where it's too dark to see. But creaks and groans and hoots and howls still creep into my ears. I take a breath and sing until the darkness disappears. I sang, you are my sunshine. I sang Frere Jacques in English and French. <laughs> I sang Red River Valley. I sang my little head off until I got through that dark tunnel of trees. But... The cattle block the road ahead. The bull is munching hay. I softly sing to calm myself and plan the safest way. 
I see a line of big old trees marching up the hill. I salute you, silent soldiers, help me if you will. Silent soldiers, please protect me, stand beside me tall and strong. Help me cross this wild beast valley. I sing my army on. Now, onward past Miss Margie's house, I hurry on my way. Have fun at school, she calls to me, and I sing back, okay. The winds come howling from the north, my eyes begin to sting. I struggle on through endless snow, and all the time I sing. I sing for sun, I sing for strength, I sing for warm toes too. I am so happy when I see two headlights blaze in view. I climb on board to warmth and smiles to start a new school day. When I was six and walked a mile and sang the dark away. The end. Oh. Thanks for that. I was hoping the auger would start up with thunderous applause again like it did for Christmas. I got to say, I like, I like, I um, appreciate the statement of a lighthouse keeper referring to being relieved by the sight of lights in the sky. By store. light, yeah. Who No, you see, it, it all comes around yeah, our lives. All eh? the way back to, to childhood. So yeah. you're going to donate that book and another uh, adult... Yes, well, um, I brought out two books um, in the same fall, last mm -hmm. fall, uh, Penny Loves Wade, Wade Loves Penny, because yeah. love is all you need, plus food, shelter clothing and medicine and <laughs> and um it's pretty good feel good too it's a love story oh. uh so i'm going to donate that too all right well if people are interested in picking those up you just got to go to the tofino co-op donate to hospice all the money goes to hospice and you'll end up with a copy of the book we only have one copy of each and they're going to be there in a few minutes so uh so be be quick get down there and get your donation on thanks for coming this has been uh, really great to meet some people that you know but you don't know you know kind of thing um and we got some wacky music to play for you Great. You we are big fans of Long Beach Radio out at Leonard Light. You I'm got, not just sucking up. You can't, get, really you can't get CBC out there? Oh, we can get it. <laughs> but, you know, we, we don't get the mermaids singing the Tide reports mm. and, you know, all the, the music uh, choices and things. And, um, yeah, it's it's wonderful right. radio. We, we appreciate it very much. Well, I appreciate you saying so, and I do appreciate you taking the time to come down here and help out the Hospice Radiothon. Uh, this next tune is Klaatu's So Said, The Lighthouse Keeper. We're going to go on a bit of a trip. Do take a trip down to the Tofino or Ukulele Co-op. Donate to Hospice. Get yourself a gift. Find out more at longbeachradio.ca or pacificrimhospice.ca and uh, there's also some silent auction items to bid on at longbeachradio.ca more information there enjoy some wacky Canadian studio musicians pretending to be the Beatles we'll be back later <laughs> 